But wait a sec. How come the Heartless are still running around? Your past endeavors did prevent an immense effusion of Heartless from the Great Darkness. Make no mistake about that. However, the Heartless are darkness made real, and darkness yet lingers in every heart. The Heartless are fewer, but while darkness exists in a single heart, it will be difficult to eliminate them. Gorge, that must mean if everybody's heart was full of light, them Heartless would go away. Now, it is time to speak of the enemies that you will encounter. <coughs> if one such as you, Donald, yields to the darkness in their heart, they too will become a heartless. But you know this. The Heartless are always lurking and ever seeking to capture new hearts. Never let your guard down. Now then. At times, if someone with a strong heart and will, be they evil or good, becomes a Heartless, the empty shell they leave behind begins to act with a will of its own. An empty vessel whose heart has been stolen away. A spirit that goes on even as its body fades from existence. For you see, no bodies do not truly exist at all. No bodies may seem to have feelings, but this is a ruse. They only pretend to have hearts. You must not be deceived. No bodies they don't exist. Now then, the being you see before you is known as a Dusk. They are the most common form of nobody. But there are others, some larger, some with frightening and unique powers. Be vigilant. On your journey, you will meet an alarming number of dusks. They will all attempt to do you harm. Still, they are nothing but empty shells destined to return to darkness. But... The beings you see before you now are different. These powerful nobodies have formed a group called Organization 13. It commands the lesser nobodies. Organization 13? While heartless act on instinct, nobodies function in a higher manner. They can think and plan, and it seems they are working towards a goal. What that goal is, we do not know. The king sensed the danger and journeyed forth to fight it. He found the Dark Realm's Keyblade and with it closed the door. Now he's traveling from world to world, fighting the Heartless as he seeks the answer to the riddle of the Nobodies and Organization 13. Then I guess we better go find the King first. What world could he be? Well, we won't know till we look. Yeah, and the King must know where Riku is, because the two of them were together in the Realm of Darkness when we closed the door. You know, after defeating Ansem. So, before you go, you will need more suitable traveling clothes. Those look a bit too small for you. Through there, you'll find three good fairies. If you ask, they'll create for you appropriate garments. Gorse, Sora! You sure are growing fast! Uh, I guess... 
<laughs> Alright, sense door closed a little bit too uh, small. We go to get some new ones. I'm uh, going to open this one first to get a map. Yep. Um, do we have anything else here? No. Going through the door. New chains of clothes. Me, you guys, Riku and the King. I don't care who this organization is or what it's planning. With the five of us, I mean, six of us, there's nothing to worry about, right? All right, so here we are. We have some strange mirrors. We have the three fairies from... Fuck! What is that movie called in English? I only know what is called in Swedish, but not in English. God damn it. Uh, let me see. Let me... Let me just try and remember here. Um, Turn Rosa becomes... Um, fuck. Uh, God damn it, what does it become? Uh, you can write in the comments uh, to help me out here. Uh, I'm fucking. <sighs> All right, uh, let's talk to the red one here and let the strip show begin. Well, look who's here, dears: Sora, Donald, and Goofy. Oh, if you're looking for clothes, you've come to the right place. I'll do the designing. Oh, that will never do. Oh, now, now, dears. But don't you like this better? Hold on. Are you certain? Blue. Ah, would you just decide? Oh, oh well. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right then. Together now, dears. And no more squabbling. Sleeping Beauty! That was it. Sleeping Beauty! Finally, finally. Yes, I figured it out. What's that? Oh, they were just about to do it together. Sorry, guys. I just had to say that I figured out it was Sleeping Beauty that this fairy comes from. I will continue now. Oh my! Oh, it's lovely! Oh yes! He does look very dashing! Now those aren't ordinary garments. They have very special powers. Take the orb, dear. And watch what happens. Wow! Whoa! Wow! Two keyblades! This journey's going to be twice as difficult as your last. <sighs> the garments also have other powers. But you'll have to discover what they are as you continue on your journey. Okay, I'll do my best. And thanks a lot. Oh, and there's something else for you from Mr. Yen said. Oh, right. Alright, so we get a new uh, Keyblade here with our Dry Form, uh, Starseeker, it is. And here's our Dry, first Dry Form of the game, Valor Form. 
I will be explaining it a little bit more afterwards. For now, let's just continue with the cutscenes. Okay, I guess I can explain them here. Uh, Drawing forms here. Uh, when you activate them, you get into a mode that can't help you during certain situations. We only have Velo form now, which is the with it's more of an attack type. You gain two keyblades and you can attack and all that, but you can't use magic. And you see the drive. Uh, the uh, bar there, free. It takes free you to activate the veil form. We will get more of them later on, which I will explain more then. But for now, we are going to see what Jens did uh, want uh, to show us. <laughs> 